All right, so we have here, um, these are the bars for cutting that goes on the bottom. And this is the Monoport 45 Watt Pro. Here you go, Monoport. Now, this is the Reno 45 Pro. This is actually a well-built machine. I mean, seems solid. There is virtually nothing made of plastic. Everything is aluminum. I love the red. As you can imagine, I like the red color, but yeah. In the inside, so this is a CO2 laser. Um, they send this machine so we can give it a try, test it and show you what it can do. This is a small size desktop CO2 laser. And one of the things that I'm really, really curious about is that semi out of focus seems to be a system that works really nice so here's a little door it's a small uh working area as you can imagine it's a compact co2 machine so this here is the semi out of focus and it's actually quite 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 simple in and i want to say it's ingenious so this is a magnet with another part magnetic part so when this is down you move the lever, this one here, to raise or lower the bed. Once you do that, as soon as the material touches this, it retracts. That means that you are now in focus. Now, if you don't wanna use that, you can use, they provide also um, the focal stick, so you know for what are you focusing in. But yeah, you, you have this option here and you can just make your track on whatever the focal point is going to be for you. This is ingenious though. It's no electronics, nothing. So on the Reno 45 watt Pro, we have this awesome screen. You have a USB here. Uh, so in this screen will allow us to Move the laser, you know, kind of a uh, run the laser around. You will see the file that you're engraving at the moment, or what is the job that you sent to the machine from Liburn. And one thing that is really cool, one is sent to this pad, is going to be stored on a memory inside the pad. So it will keep the last job that you sent. That means that if you are doing a batch job and you need to send more and more and more, you don't need to go back to the computer. You just repeat the job from the screen. So you just load new material and keep repeating the job from the screen. And that is really handy for batch production. This red line here is the pass through and the way it works, it doesn't have an out pass through on the back. So this is just to put like a longer piece on the front basically. But what you do is just slide this on like so. So this is a piece of aluminum. And now you have the pass through here for longer pieces. That can be really handy. So when you're working on this machine, here you have the honeycomb and beneath that, let me move this away. So I put the slats there so I don't lose them. But as you can see, there is a hole here that everything goes down. This is the comb tray. So you just slide this like so. So you have a tray that you can just take with you for cleaning and it will make your life a lot easier. That is really, really useful. So everything that you cut, it will fall through this and then you can take it and clean it. Now, just to let you guys know again, the whole body is aluminum. Uh, the base, the bottom, this frame, uh, this frame here and the back are made of steel. So this is a really, really hefty and well built machine. So then on the back we have the power input. There is the normal input. Uh, I don't remember what it is. It's just like a little cushion. I'm gonna guess that this is for uh, adjustment on the rail. We have here to connect the pump. They include a pump, a water pump. So this is here. So you plug that here as well. 
then you have a wire here to put it on ground now this is a five inch so you will need an adapter here using a four inches or six inch exhaust but you can get everywhere from my website to ace hardware so these are everywhere the basically the hoses the lines for the water were pre-installed inside the machine and i connect this to a water chiller that is here so we're gonna play with everything here really quick and then i'll get back to you guys with some testing so you can see here that's the job that I sent uh, and ask me for a name when I send the file that means that it's going to be stored on the screen and I can review the job from this screen so I am playing with the Reno 45 watt and I actually engraving more and more and more and I gotta say it I actually love it simply enough uh, perfect entry level CO2 laser uh, I'm picking up pieces of wood <laughs> and the results are pretty pretty nice this has some really small holes around it I mean it, it did a, an amazing job and right now I'm doing some acrylic but I'm trying to make like a really deep acrylic engrave and see how that goes and I gotta I gotta be honest with you guys uh, I was skeptical because the size and kind of the technology was a little bit off for me on um, how they want to approach on things based on how the market is going they, they have a machine that has everything automatic and this one is partially and it's a lot of manual stuff so I was like thinking maybe this machine is going to be you know kind of a running short in some things but this is definitely a step up of the K40 uh, the, uh, and the area is a 16 inches by 12 inches so far I have no issues with the area I didn't have issues setting up the machine it's heavy so you might need help or you can just pick it up and bring it back that's what I did uh, you need a water chiller they sent me also a water chiller to test uh, and it's really straightforward uh, I'm using the steel water to avoid sediment and stuff like that in the water you gotta run that a couple minutes before just five minutes before you start lasering to make sure that the whole system is going and then you're gonna start with your laser the only thing that I noticed is the honeycomb is not on a fixed position but I made a couple brackets that you put on the front <laughs> the honeycomb now doesn't move anywhere it just stay there uh, I'll be putting that on my website for you guys uh, in some point <coughs> Uh, I'm not sure I've been trying to look for information I'll send an email to them and ask I'm not sure if the shield uh, on the cover the lid is laser safe is kind of a gray shield uh, I'm gonna assume that is laser safe because it is advertised as a category 4 laser uh, but either way just in case since I, I don't know I'm wearing glasses right now I don't see the laser right now other than that uh, it was a really straightforward installation Libron was super simple I mean probably one of the easiest uh, they, they come with a thumb drive like this and you see here just a little thumb drive 4 gigabytes thumb drive you go there install the driver the USB driver and once you install the driver when you open Libron you just go to devices find my laser and boom that's it that's all you have to do uh, it's been pretty accurate in all the measurements that I take so far uh, where I'm sending the laser into the bed so I'm gonna say that if you are in the market right now to kind of a step into the CO2 laser and you don't want to spend a lot of money getting a CO2 and get your feet wet first you know you want to test it you want to see if it's something that you are comfortable with with because it comes with a little more maintenance than your regular other lasers uh, you you have to make more maintenance that's for sure and more cleaning but it has a tray it has a way now for me to fix the honeycomb in place uh, it's quite fast uh, the speed is a 600 millimeters per second of course that will be depending on what you're doing not everything is going to be 600 millimeters per second and also remember there is acceleration deceleration and things like that uh, the laser works flawlessly out of the box 
there is a couple of things that you want to make sure that you take out they have on the rails these little guys uh, they're on a manual say when you take it out uh, don't lose this thing for the focus uh, you need this I have a bracket now that I put it on the side so I don't lose it uh, it comes with a couple other tools for the maintenance uh, basically everything you need out of the box you will need to get a water chiller you will need to get a fume extraction I highly recommend a fume extraction and probably check my adapters uh, because this use a uh, five inches so it's gonna be hard for you to find I found in Ace hardware a five inch adapter for the hose so you can go five inch to six or five to four uh, other than that the laser is is an amazing uh, amazing co2 laser for a entry level or for a desktop use um, as right now when I'm finishing this video they're running a cell and the laser the one that I have here which is the one of Reno 45 Pro it's a 45 watt desktop uh, a, with a semi out of focus of course this is coming now for fifteen hundred dollars for fourteen hundred ninety nine fifteen hundred dollars uh, normally go for two thousand so it's a pretty affordable laser uh, I'll put the links in the description below so you can take a look it's going to be of course an affiliate link this is a machine that Monopore sent us to test and <clears throat> using that link comes to no extra cost to you but it help us to keep the channel going so as always guys thank you very much for watching i want to take my deep engrave you want to see it before i say bye here you go there's the dust that i need to clean So I'm gonna watch, watch this thing, and this is going to be part of my cover for you guys. So it will produce some dust. One more thing that I wanna point out: uh, these edges on the lid. Be careful. Uh, if you see here, there is a couple edges. I need to sand it down a little bit more, but it's a little sharp. So be careful. Don't cut yourself like I did. And if you're worried about this for leaking fumes, depending on what you're using for air extraction, this has no issues whatsoever. I was concerned about it because it's a big end gap and you have the gaps from the doors as well, but there is no leak whatsoever. So, great machine to start. So there you guys have it. So if you are on the market right now to kind of give it a try on a CO2 laser, um, and it's really bright outside today. And also, you don't want to break the bank and you want to be able to do clear acrylics and stuff like that, check this laser out. It's pretty sweet. So always guys, like the video, subscribe, share the video, put the bell so you get the alerts, and fire the laser.